we're waiting for the concrete truck. Should be here shortly. Uh, got the buggy ready, concrete buggy. We rented that for the day. Um, it's like $250 a day. There's no way to do it. Uh, I mean, unless you had a pump, and a pump is a lot more than $250 a day. So uh, this driveway is like 30 feet wide, 35 feet long from the house to the street. It's pretty good size. Um, and then a stairway, a couple steps up to the house. Here. And then we always make sure we drill, drill the rebars into the foundation. It's going like three inches. Make sure that the, the re, they're all drilled in. Here we use number three, 18 inches on center each way. That's kind of standard in this part of Texas for, uh, yeah, our soil's not that good here. So that's pretty standard. The other thing that's standard here, which I don't like, but, and I try to get guys to change but it's kind of hard, and they use one by fours to divide the sections instead of just troweling joints in. I don't like one by fours in my concrete. They use pressure treated. Some people are cheap, they use pressure treated. But anyway, I mean, I, I just don't like it, but it's just the way they do it here. And I try to get them to trowel, do, you know, trowel joints. They just, they don't have the tools, they don't have the extension handles and the right kinds of trowels. So. But they'll still picture frame it, so they'll, They'll picture, you know, they'll, they'll broom it, and then they'll picture frame each section. Um, but to get them to, uh, to just do trowel joints, which I think looks clean, and still picture frame it, but trowel joints, it's just, it's just easier to go with the flow. And I don't really care all that much. It's just not my personal choice. In the four states that I've lived and built in, this is the only one where they, they do the one by four thing. So anyway, and then they took a couple, they took a section out here, a form section on the other side so they get to so get the buggy in because they need to get the buggy in here so they can they can pour into the, the different sections and so then they'll come in from the other side here they'll be able to pour this one and then they can kitty corner it in here because you can the, the buggy bucket you know you can turn it this way and then you can dump this way for example and i i don't know how much that thing holds maybe like a half a yard i mean it holds quite a bit uh it's on tracks so i mean it works really well i've used them many times before anyway so that's kind of that's kind of what we're doing here and how it's going to go I'll, I'll record when when we start uh, these are the guys we've got four guys and then me but i don't do that much but you know, whatever little things they need um anyway yeah so that's kind of what we're doing here i'll probably record when they start pouring maybe make a separate video for that um yeah so concrete will be here soon and it's, i don't know it's like eight in the morning right now or 7 30 so yeah good day gonna be maybe 70 today so anyway back to work